out to all my friends in the internet world. This is your friend Jay Silva, also known as Backward at Jay. And I want to bring you the lesson number two on our saga of, uh, you know, learn to play Backward with Jay. All right. So please, please, if you like these videos, don't forget to share them. Okay. Share them with everyone you want. I mean, like, you know, <laughs> people out there say, hey, don't share our material. Please share our material. Please. I mean, it can help somebody else. Now, uh, <clears throat> I'm doing this real quick because... A lot of a lot of responses, a lot of people inquiring, and and I haven't got that got a chance to make the video about you know becoming a team member. I promise you, after this video, I'm gonna make that video, in which I will tell you if you are if you are a student, a graduate from any of our programs on Backrub, any of our Backrub programs, you can actually become a a team member. If you're a new student, you can also you know the process will be a little longer, but you know you can also contact us. And a lot of people have contacted us through, um, through our website. You remember, we have a chat in our website that, okay, that you can contact us or you can use social media. You know, there's many ways. So you can use our phone number. You can give us a call. Okay, but please don't forget to like, subscribe, and to share our videos. This is so important. Okay, there's a purpose for us to do that. Okay, we want to give this to the world. All right? So without any further ado, okay, today we're going to learn a lesson. It's got, we, we're going to call this one, <clears throat> how to use the combo number one. Remember, last time we, used, uh, we learned to use the combo number two. We understood the principle. I, before I play, okay, oh, let, let me tell you a little bit more about combo number one. Hold on. Combo number one is what we call the chop. Or also, you know, amongst, amongst our players, we like to call them Charlie. Charlie, because of the Z. Charlie, chop. All right? Now, <clears throat> how does the Charlie bet? Charlie bets opposite to last result. Let me get a scope here. Remember, scope is so important. It's vital. Why? Because I cannot play without a scope. Okay, I'm right here. Uh, I'm not going to bet. I'm not betting anything. All right? Just getting the cards. I need to get five. the read of five decisions. Uh, and we have a player seven. Let me write them down before. Uh, we have. Hold on one second. Okay, I'm, I'm thinking that I'm playing for real. Player seven. Now we have a banker eight. Ooh, player nine. Hey, we're getting the chop right there. Look. Player nine. We need two more. Ooh, banker nine. Man. Banker nine. And the final one, okay, it's a tie. This is a good point. Ties do not exist, guys and girls. Ties do not exist. What do I mean by that? People say, Jay, I see ties all the time. Some other people, especially my Asian students, my Chinese, Singaporeans, uh, Vietnamese, uh, Malaysians, you know, Filipino. They said, Jay, man, I bet on the tie that I do all right. Well, if you did all right, why do you contact me? Get it? I mean, you want something better. You want something more. And then when they finally see the light, you know, we do not bet on the tie on regular game. If you play in a tournament, it's a whole different animal. Okay? So that tie doesn't count. So I still have four decisions. I have player seven, banker eight. Look, right here. I have player seven, banker eight, player nine, banker nine, and nothing. Tie. Just get one more. And a banker three. All right? So that one didn't chop. So perfect. Now check this out. Pay attention, please. Remember, the progression that we use is the same progression. The negative progression is base F2, F3, F5. That's all you want to use. That's all. You don't want to go any higher than that. Because not that we're going to lose, because you're going to spend a lot of time, purpose. Remember this word, guys and girls, purpose. You're going to spend a great portion of that shoe just recouping on that, you know, minus 16 to a minus 20 loss. You don't want that. We want to keep our losses down to a bare minimum. And not only that, but, you know, our profitability here is great. It's a great factor. And also the ladder, we're going to use the short ladder, okay, for perfect sniper, which is base ladder three. Pay attention. Pay attention. Now, we, let's move on into mechanics. The mechanic of the chop is we bet opposite to the last result. You see how after a player seven, a banker eight, player two banker, opposite, plus one. This is a zero. This is an anchor. First decision. Zero plus one. Okay, banker A to a player 9, another opposite, another plus 1, plus 2, all right? Uh, after that, 
uh, player nine to a banker nine plus one, but I was already plus two plus three. All right. After that, I go. I jump from a banker nine to a banker three. Repeat minus one plus two. So my TI count so far is plus two. Now, if I'm playing my combo number two, my combination number two, I'm only gonna play. The top. I'm only going to play Charlie. I'm, gonna, I'm only going to bet opposite to last. For example, the last result here is a banker three. I'm betting on the player. If a player hits, then I'm going to bet on the banker. Why? Because I'm going opposite to last. All right. So please pay attention. Remember, we're going to we're going to do Charlie bets. We're going to do choppy bets. Or we're going to do opposite to last until we lose four times in a row. Four times in a row. And if we happen to lose, I mean, I'm not wishing to lose four times in a row, but if we happen to lose four times in a row, people say, Jay, I mean, I was talking to a dealer friend of mine who, has, who I'm training, he's a student of mine, and he was telling me, hey, um, you know, I've never seen any videos in which you have any, an official loss. I said, okay, I'm, <laughs> I'm not wishing, I'm not hoping for one, but, you know, uh, let's see what happens. So remember, we're going we're gonna to bet opposite to last until we lose four times in a row. So now, I'm using $100 base chips, okay, that's my base bet. And I'm going opposite to banker three, so I'm going based on the player side. So please pay close attention. Let's see what happens. And remember, we're gonna we're gonna bet. We're gonna get four games. I like I like the one the last game in which we got four games. Okay, um, hold on one second. I have uh, banker eight came out. We were plus two. Now we are plus one ti. All right. Hold on one second. Plus three. Plus two, plus one, and zero. All right, perfect. Uh, I went base on the player. Back gray came out. I lost minus one. I got I to gotta start my negative progression, which is F2, right? Opposite to the last result. Opposite bank gray will be on the player side. So I go F2 on the player. Let's see what happens. Nice. Player three win. Hold on one second. F2 on the player. Player three win. And I am plus one. Plus one is profit. This is my first micro game. So I circle it here. Okay. I am plus two on my TI. N you know, it, uh, a, lot of, a lot of you guys have asked me, you know, uh, in, in uh, private messages and some of the comments, all right? And, and you guys go, um, what's the use of the TI count? I mean, we're going to make a video about the TI count. I mean, you know, we're we, we teaching you guys and girls for free, which is good. It makes me feel great. All right. Now check this out. The TI count shows me where my game is going. For example, if I have a plus four, plus five, plus six, plus seven, plus eight TI, it's showing me, hey, it's a heavy choppy shoe. My shoe so far is choppying a lot. Okay, which is pretty good. Okay, it's, it's giving you a heads up. It's giving you direction. It's giving you purpose. Right now, I just made profit. I'm, I'm all about profit. So now. Okay, I'm going to go start a brand new game. i got to go back to a base bet. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm betting combo two. I'm betting the top. So, uh, opposite to last. The last was player three. I'm going to go base on banker. All right? Here we go. All right, perfect. Player seven came out. Player seven came out. I lost and a minus one in this uh, micro game. Plus one is my TI. And now I see plus one, plus two, plus one, plus two. Mm. I'm a slumping a little bit, like, you know, it will be, th this type of shoe will be great, because another, another, another question that you guys asked me, especially in, on, on the comments in the, in the previous video, Jay, when do I know how it's time for me to use the combo two or the combo one? Look, right now it's showing me, okay, Oof, this will be perfect for combo two, but you know what, I want to show you guys and girls something, I want to show you how to use the combo one, okay, whether it's in the proper way, whether it's in the improper way, all right, so it's okay, I'm a minus one. And I got to go to an F2, opposite to last. The last is player 7, so I got to go F2 on the banker side. Two units. Here we go. Let's see what happens. Nice. Banker 7 came out. And I win. And I am plus 1 again. So this is my second micro game, all right? Second micro. I want to I wanna play four micro games. If, you know, I don't want to exceed 20 bets, all right? Uh, my TI is plus two. Once again, I have two winning games. I have plus two units, plus one and plus one and two micro games. Now I'm going opposite to the last result, which is banker seven. I'm betting base on the player. Here we go. One unit on the on the player side. Let's see what happens. 
Beautiful. Man, that combo too will be killing here. All right. Uh, Banker 7 came out. I am minus 1, and I got to do my TI is plus 1. Man, I'm slumping like crazy. F2 on the player side, all right? Why, Jay? Because I'm going opposite banker 7. Opposite banker is player. So, two units on my negative progression, which is a force, on the player side. Ooh, ties. I don't like ties because it, get, it gets a lot of my students confused. Once again, nothing happened. No, nothing gained. Let me, let me just write it down that it was, you know, tie. Tie and six, all right? Uh, hold on a second. Let me erase it. I wrote it in the wrong box. Hold on. I'm, I'm telling you guys and girls. I don't know how to teach, make a video, play, and keep notation at the same time. It's just my wife will, will always say to me, I, I'm not multitasking. Tasking. <laughs> I'm not capable of multitask. All right. So here, we, all I got to do is rebet because my bet is in the same place. Nice. Player A came out, and you can see we won. Okay. Another game, player eight. It's not a natural eight because it wasn't three cards. But it's a plus one anyhow. So my third game, third micro game, TI is plus two. And once again, man, my combo number two will be doing amazing. All these things will be plus fours, plus fours, plus fours, plus fours, and plus fours. Like you guys are accustomed to see. So now, here goes the answer to the question. AJ, hey, when do I know how to use the combo two or how to use the combo one? The game tells you. That's what I'm telling you. Like when, when you train with us at one point, like, you know, session number one, session number two, I will tell you the numbers tell you story and the numbers will show you the future. The numbers are talking to us. I mean, you know, I'm not complaining. I'm not whining. You know, we made three units so far in, um, hold on. In uh, one, two, three, four, five, six bets. So we're making one unit every two bets. Okay? We can do better. Jay, why don't you switch? Because I'm playing combo number one. I told you guys. I'm going to play combo number one all the way. I have one more micro game. Uh, we have, well, maybe we can squeeze, you know, a, a few more micro games. Because it's been so quick. You know, every, every, two, every two bets, we're getting, we're getting a, a, a profit and we're going back to base. All right. So I'm going to go back to base, opposite to last is player A, so I'm going to go base on banker. So simple. I mean, now you guys and girls see, when, you, when you're watching my videos before and I didn't teach it, you know, I wasn't teaching you, I didn't teach you what I was doing, it seemed almost like if some people accuse me of fabricating this, this simulator right here, it's not mine. I cannot control what the outcomes will be. I'm just playing according to what I see. All right? So now that you guys see it, and, and, you, know, and, and you're, you guys are getting the knowledge, you guys and girls are getting the knowledge of what I'm doing, it makes perfect sense. And this is what I'm trying to tell you. Where is the drama? Where is the danger? Where's the risk? All right? Now, uh, okay, let's see what happens. I'm going one unit based on the banker side. Ooh, another tie. Okay, never mind that. <laughs> Let me write it down here. Uh, tied at eight. Okay, hold on one second. Six. Okay, I'm going base on bank. Okay, all I gotta do is rebet. Remember, when, if it happens at a brick and mortar casino, all you have—I mean, the, the dealer will do will do knuckles. We call that knuckles, you know. It will do knuckles on your bet. Okay, some dealers will just push it, push it a little forward, a little bit, just a, a tilt. Okay, but they will not touch it. Be careful because some dealers out there. I, mean, I have a lot of dealers who are students and friends of mine, so I don't want to <laughs> badmouth any dealers. But some dealers are, are, you know, a little funny. I, I will leave it at that. Now, uh, rebet. Here we go. Let's see what happens. Okay, uh, player A came out. I lost. Minus one. TI is plus one. And we slumping like crazy, guys and girls. Once again, uh, lost my base bet. I got to go into an F2. Opposite to the last result. Opposite to player A. It's a banker. Two units on the banker side. Here we go. Let's see what happens. Player seven came out beautiful. Check it out. So now I am minus three. The, this is the first micro game. Uh, my TI is at zero. Zero is, 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 a, is, a, is a new beginning. It's an anchor. Right? So basically, you know, my, my TI account is giving me a heads up. and say, hey, Jay, heads up, man. Like, wh what it was working before, it might be changing. Or like we like to call it, we might, you know, my TI might be traveling. All right? So it's fine. It's perfect. It's going into clusters. 
you know, it might be the low 35%. You know, we don't have two, you know, two chops before that. We have um, two closes. We have two closes on the players, two closes on the bankers. Now we have three, three players again. Those are closers, okay? Combo number two here, we'll be making a killing and a half, all right? So I got to go F3 on the banker side because I'm playing combo number one. Opposite to the last result, last result was on the player seven, three units. On the banker side, if I win here, I will be neutral, I will be zero. That's it. Oh, nice. Okay, I mean, I mean <laughs> you know, naturally. <laughs> banker nine, hold on. Banker nine, I won zero neutrality. This is my micro game number four. How many minutes? 15 minutes and counting. Almost 16 minutes. Okay, we still, we're going to play one more micro game. So we're going to got one, two, three, four. Four micro games. Hold on one second. Uh, TI is plus one. All right. Now I'm going to start a new micro game. Okay. I got to go base opposite to last. Base on player. Okay. Let's see what happens. Nice. Player nine. This is a natural. Natural nine. Okay. Base on player. Player nine. I won. I am plus one. Let's see if I can get a plus four here. Okay. And plus two is my TI. All right. So now I'm going L3. Remember, I'm using the ladder, the show ladder, which is uh, the, you know, the high profit ladder, opposite to the last. Okay. Last result was player nine, natural nine. I'm going L3 on the banker side. Let's see what happens. Ooh, I didn't win. Hold on. Which is nice. Okay. Uh, uh, hold on one second. Once again, the, you know, where's the drama? Where's the Where's the oh, okay? My partner is writing to me. Um, where's the controversy? No, you know we're playing cool. We you know we're doing amazing things. It's it's, it's fun actually. Uh, hold on one second. Uh, player eight came out. Another another natural. Minus two is my money count. Plus one is my ti. Now a lot of people ask me, AJ, what happened if you lose that ladder three? Now you see why. Because my money count, which is my boss, my bankroll is my boss. It was from being on a positive state to a negative state. If it's a negative, I have to go into the negative progression, which is a force. And my force starts at a force two. So I got to go opposite to last, opposite uh, player A. I got to go two units on the banker side. All right? Watch it. Once again, my money count in this micro game. In this micro game is minus two. Okay? Not overall. Overall, I am one, two, three, plus three, minus two, plus one. But in this micro game, my money count is minus two. So I'm doing... And F2 bet on the banker. If I win, once again, I'll be neutral. I'll be zero. And that will be the end of this, uh, this class. Hold on. Nice. And it is. Bank, uh, 18 minutes. Beautiful. Banker 8. I won. I'm at zero. And my TI is at cool plus 2. You see, my TI count, it went as high as plus 3. Okay, just giving you a heads up, guys and girls. So check it out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the notations here in this video. All right. We play. Hold on one second. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve bets. I made three units out of twelve bets. All right. Now check this out. If I was doing combo two, I would probably have three plus fours. Three plus fours, all right. And uh, it's, uh, the zeros will be zeros, all right. But now check this. Out. No, no, no. My bad, my bad. No, the zeros will not be zeros. I, I will, I will probably be like plus thirteen or plus fourteen instead of a plus three. Now, once again, some uh, forums out there that they claim that they can, you know, they know it all. They have every single system in the world, and nothing, nothing works consistently according to them. And we know for a fact that every time they go to the casino, they lose. Okay, they they are consistent losers. That's all. That's all I have to say about that. But they also claim that if you are a winner at the game of backward, you should be making between one to three units in an entire shoe. An entire shoe, if it's eight deck shoes, it can contain between seventy-five to eighty-two hands, and that's about an hour and twenty, an hour and thirty minutes, an hour and a half, ninety minutes. In order to make it count, you should be playing five hundred dollar base bets. You know, if you're going to make one unit for an hour and a half, at least make $500, right? I mean, you know, our, our, our profit our profit margin is crazy. I told you, if I was doing combo number two here, I would probably got like, you know, 12 to 14 units on 12 bets. 
and 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 most likely I wouldn't I wouldn't need to have 12 beds. All right. So just pay attention to that. I have answered many questions that you guys and girls have asked me. Okay, what happened when you lose a lot of three, Jay? I didn't get to answer what happened if I lost an official loss. If you know an official loss here would have been like you know minus 11 or minus 12, the maximum. All right. So probably at this point I would have you know I would have been like uh, minus six. Minus five, maybe minus seven, you know, no big deal. If I continue playing, like, you know, I, I will still have quite a bit going for the entire shoe. Most likely I will recoup and, you know, get in the in the proper position. I will end up in profit at the end of that shoe. Like, you know, maybe plus 10, plus 15, you know, if it's good, plus 20, even though I had a minus 11 or a minus 12. All right, guys and girls. So uh, thank you so very much. Remember, I, I promise you, okay, in the next video, I'm going to talk about how you guys and girls can become a uh, team player, a, you know, a lead team member over team, all right? I promise you that. And please, if you like these videos, if you like what we're doing here, teaching you guys and girls, you know, to, to, to learn how to play backward are completely free, just share the videos, okay? Uh, click like, subscribe, you know, share the videos, put them up in your social media, and so, you know, the most people in the world can, can take advantage of this information. All right, so thank you so very much. Remember, my name is Jay Silva, also known as Baccarat Jay, and I will see you guys and girls in the next uh, video. Okay? Bye-bye.